Ladies and gentlemen, g'day, it's Badger from Oz, and welcome back to Fuga, I mean, bloody, um, Brock the Investigator, holy, <laughs> we got something done at last, but we're now stuck on this part here, we managed to get revenge on Clay, but we got, now we're stuck on this one. I mm, forgot why I called you. Stop wasting my time. Sorry. shower. I don't like those very much. Nothing beats the relaxing contact of water. Hmm. The diagram ma <coughs> matches the panels on the f floor corners of your cell. Fifth page to find out. Activate the panels in order. In your order to activate the debug mode. What? Hang on, let's see. No visitors detected. Hmm. What do you want? Seems like the big and dumb type, but appearances can be deceptive. Stop with sorry. Let's... Let's see, um I need your help. Oh, hang on, talk to Sin, let's see, uh... Can you... yeah. Maybe the third one. Northwest corner of the cell. I thought this was the northwest corner. Wait, examine the laser wall. Hey, I can access that sink. Oh, here you go. I found it. Let's see. What are you panels? fiddling with? Look, I was able to open it from this side. Open what? A trap door at the back of the sink. This is our exit ticket. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I think I'm unscrewing something. Aha! Uh -huh. Now it's leaking water. Perfect. Can we talk? Can you... Yeah. The fourth one. Call RJ? I wish I didn't have to, but... Okay. What am I gonna tell him? Tell him there's a problem with your sink. Ah, 
Well, that's why you messed with it. <laughs> yep. What? My sink is broken. Can you check? You won't get me with that stupid excuse. It's true. Look. Uh-oh. If the boss sees this, trouble. Okay. I enter and fix that. No move. for nada. Now I'm in even more trouble. At least the guard is out. Does this change anything? Activate the first button. Alright. No visitors detected. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. Um, well, I apologize that my gameplay is not really good at the moment. Use a stand hit or triangular buttons. There's no triangular buttons. Debug mode activated. Oh, here we go. Did something happen? I need your help. No stand. Can you search RJ? Why? Maybe he's got a key, a weapon, or something. I prefer not to touch him. My situation just became even more embarrassing. Sorry. This one's on me. Wait. I'll let you know when I need you. Hmm. Wait a second. There's a button! Oh, hello. I can try and move it now. <laughs> bitch. One camera down. Bye bye. 
Oops. Uh, it's okay. I'm sure no one heard it. See him. Wait. Are they the triangular buttons? Isn't that here? That's a collectible ad. Go ahead. It's open. No. What? He's huh? not leaving? It's a mistake. <coughs> I've got to stay. I need to atone for my sins. But... but... You're not responsible for anything. But me... I'd become a fugitive. What are you waiting for? Go! Okay, but I'll come back to visit you. Right. Just be careful. Always. I found something. Flying honey, okay. Oh, nice. Perfect. Typical. Uh, Sin would probably not appreciate it if I stole his belongings right in front of him. Hmm. Before you leave, you can't come back to this room. Just sing. Whatever's in there must be valuable, hence why it's protected. Oh, that touch panel's broken. He wants to stay. Uh, well, I won't do that. Guess we have to leave him behind. Let's see. Not coming back there. What the hell do we do now? I wish it just leave. Three bots. Cameras on the front. They won't see me if I'm careful, but one bot is guarding the exit. We won't move. What should I do? Oh damn, I should have clicked the ad now. Oh well. Let's see. Intruder alert. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Bitch. Good. Oh, 
always the troublemaker, aren't you? The game is up. Hands over your head. You can't stop me. Oh, crap! Any me You're stunned. stronger than I thought. And fortunately for us, not very bright. I've been asked to keep you alive. I really can't understand it after what you've done to him. Well, doesn't matter. The final plan has started. I have the situation under control. Oh my god, I could, I could have disabled them. You better oh, cooperate. No. Or else. So you won't make it the graph science fair after all. Is this a game over? Unfrozen mode. Mm, shoot! Uh, did something happen? I, I could swear you moved. Oh, a freezing gun. So. So freeze! <laughs> am I in trouble? I did not expect you to escape. I have clearly underestimated you. That said, you messed up your cell system, neutralized one of our agents, and violated the law. Well, sorry about that, but it's your fault. I shouldn't be here. I just... Shut up. <clears throat> I require your assistance. What? Here's the situation. Listen carefully. This is confidential. Due to recent events, I had to fire Agent Ray. Oh, interesting. Why? He screwed up too many times. Today, he fell for your tricks. I cannot allow my agents to have their weaknesses so easily exploited. Well, it wasn't that easy. In addition to this, Several of our AI agents are out of service. Finally, and this is hard for me to admit, <gasps> but we are similar, you and I. Old school in the technological world. I've told you, I have no confidence in algorithms solving the cases. Yeah, no, Sherlock. The only human agent remaining is myself. You're an anthropomorphic agent, bitch, not a human agent. Soon, I won't have a choice but to rely entirely on those gadgets. Don't we f oh. I won't let this happen. I've become skeptical about their behavior. I need to keep an eye on those bots. Yeah, you should have. So, I can't keep running this department all by myself. I need your help. That's... Unexpected. Certainly glad I'm not the only one who thinks those thingamabobs are creepy, though. Give me some time to think. This isn't a choice. It's a cherry. Ooh, a cherry. Cherry Sunday. <laughs> huh? A cherry? A cherry. Cherry. Cherry! Yes. It's a request. It's a cherry. Are you okay? It's been a long day. Anyway, as per regulation 14-3032, in case of understaffing, the highest ranking officer can requisition any citizen for help. Interesting. Why me? I've seen your actions today. Despite some aggressive tendencies, you've solved Sin's case remarkably well. You didn't blindly trust your client and uncovered the truth common methods. I've met so many detectives over the years. You are one of a kind. We've known each other for a long time. Currently, you're the most qualified person I can trust. Uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, so, if I accept... It's not your decision. What? <laughs> what kind of compensation can I expect? None. None? Working for free? But... Okay, listen here, um... The batteries on one of my controls ran out again, so I had to use my, the one I used yesterday. 
So, yeah, and I've got to look up the guides for this game, too. Only temporarily. You'll manage. Easy for you to say. You're not drowning in debt. This is effective as of now. Immediately? Wait, what time is it? 5 p.m. <gasps> oh! 5 p.m. Oh, no! Graf's fair! I need to leave. This is an accept. I'm begging you, Graf. He's gonna kill me. I'm no good for you dead, ain't I? This seems like a slight exaggeration. Look, don't care what I gotta do to get out of here. If you prevent me, I'll force my way through. <sighs> Alright. You're free to go. See ya. <laughs> I love how it just says, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> I need a rest. Time to recharge the batteries and prepare for tomorrow. <laughs> recharge the batteries. I actually recharged the batteries on my controller. And now I've got to put the aircon on because it's very warm here in Perth. It's unusually warm today and it's going to be the same damn temperature tomorrow and then maybe Friday. Oh, I really cannot wait for the cool weather. Unfortunately, it's going to be another warm and dry winter. I'm Why is it zero? Here. Why is he on zero? You're late. Uh, I know, but you see, I had a lot of trouble, so. Hey, wait! Wait, did you get the score for. <coughs> Where are you going? Uh, 6 p.m. Six new messages and seven missed calls. Oh no. Uh, I guess wait I missed that. Even by looking at the guy, I'd say I must have messed up. I should have read it a bit more. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to wing it. Please, talk to me. <sighs> Got a message from the school, but I, I need to hear it from you. Simple. They've decided to advance the year's trials this week, and made the science fair a part of it. You weren't there, so I got a zero. That wait, what? That's why you got a zero. Okay, that is bull. Zero. Nil. Nada. Zip. Oh, look, I'm... Sorry? That's all you have to say? You're sorry? I told you! You needed to come! You broke your promise! Again! Well, I did come. An hour late! I know. What's your excuse this time? Now, you know what? We're gonna go with truth. My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape to. Jail? Are you a criminal? Is that what you're hiding from me? No, of course not. I can explain. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Do you even realize? I killed myself working on this project. Made sure everything worked well. All this work. The hours I poured into it, all for nothing, because of you. I hate you. Graf, ah, great job, Brock. This time you really blew it. Yeah, nice job, dick face. <sighs> I still can't believe it. Because of him, I failed this test. I'll never get my diploma. Forever and ever, I'll stay a lousy slummer. Like... <clears throat> I need to clear up my head. Yeah, he's with this. Now I need to do... know what to do.
Hmm. Hey, maybe Odd is online. Oh, I'm craving some team match game. <clears throat> he's not. Darn. I guess he's preparing for his training course tomorrow. Too bad. I could really use a friend right now. Hmm. Parents ruin everything. Topic. I hate my parents. Oh, well. Wow. I'm not the only one. Interesting. Maybe they'll be interested in my own story. I need to find a way to redeem myself. Good luck with that. Somehow. Tomorrow, the school. No matter how or what. I gotta convince them to put the blame on me and give him the mark his work deserves. Yeah, no sh But gotta do something right now, or I'll never be able to sleep. You're not tired. It's getting late. Mm. I wish you were here, Grandpa. You always knew what to do for me. Mm. I know. Grandpa always said eating is the best stress reliever. I'll prepare dinner for him. The best food he's ever had. Nobody can resist my cooking. Now, let's see what I can gather. I should one day do some cooking in real life. What am I gonna have tonight? Oh God, I still haven't gotten shopping. Oh, my mom went shopping for me yesterday, actually. Oh, I need to go shopping too. God damn it. This is all I could find. Guess I'll have to make do. All right, so I'll be back in a minute. So you got no meals left. <sighs> God damn. Uh, what am I gonna do? Three ingredients mix. How about chicken, pasta, and lasagna? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Alright, now I need to look up the guides again. I've got rotten. Oh, I don't want to use rotten. I don't, I'm going to use the regular Pampolos fruit. Because, you know, healthier things are more important. Uh, goat's cheese, uh, um, ants. Ant burger, we don't have ant burger. Oh, yeah, we do. I'm not feeling confident, because I'm looking up the guides. Cooking time. Someone say KFC. He looks depressed to the right, but he looks happy to the left, so I don't friggin' know. Hmm, maybe I'm being a little too harsh. Oh, now you're submitting now. He told me he was stuck in jail. Was he for real? Oh, that's right. I know what happened tonight. Hmm, Kiev's Kiev's. No reason to lie about something like that. But why? I don't like this. Maybe I should have let him explain. Of course, that's him. What part of leave me alone does he not understand? Raf, can you come here, please? I won't talk about it, I promise. I think he's gonna break that promise too. Okay. <coughs> well, I'm sorry for... Nah, don't say anything. I don't know why, I just felt like doing the cat noise. It's all my fault. But 
Still, I shouldn't have said that. No worries. I prepared dinner. Well, to be honest. I should probably have dinner soon. But maybe in about an hour and a half. Maybe don't two feel hours. Like eating right now. I just can't You're not hungry. thinking about well, everything. I thought you said you didn't want to talk about everything. Oh, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Come on. No one can think properly on an empty stomach. Oh, I can I. Please. Okay. Here, let me serve you. Hmm. Looks good. You think so? Oh, I hope it is. Hmm. Yep, not bad. I'm glad. We're running out of ingredients, so it wasn't easy to prepare something. It's fine. It's been a long time. I mean, since we've last eaten together. Usually I'd either prepare a meal for myself, or you'd leave me a plate to heat. It's not the same. You're right. We should do this more often. Yeah. <sighs> About what happened. Wait. Not here. This time, it's my turn to surprise you. Follow me! Uh? Where are you going? Here. Won't you tell me where we're going? Right here. I'm actually glad to start go with the unknown one. Uh see what? Hmm. Let me ask the question properly. What do you see? Well, I see trash. The polluted haze, despair, and misery. Just as I thought. You keep looking at the ground, but you know what they say. Every coin has two sides. Raise your eyes to the sky. The sky? Whoa. What a view. You're right. This is pretty. Yeah, it hasn't changed. No matter how much our technology pollutes it, the Earth does its best to remain magnificent. Uh, you and your mom, after we met, we used to go here every evening. Both of us had busy lives, but this was our highlight each day. We would spend the little time we had talking. Talking? Really? <laughs> well, most of the time, anyway. I... I want to ask you something. Is it wrong if I can't remember her? Not just her, but my father, too. Forgetting my parents. Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm the same. I have erratic memories of the past. Sometimes I ask myself, what did her voice sound like? What did her smile look like? If it wasn't for this picture I saved, I wouldn't even recall her face. Yeah, I've checked through all the Triweb. Our family pictures, video clips, documents. They were all stored online in one place. When the national power outage happened, all our files were just gone. As if our entire existence up to that point had been erased. Not just ours, but the whole city. The only memories left are in our minds, and they're not even reliable. You're wrong. Our mind is the most precious and trusty belonging in this day and age. There's a simple explanation to all this. We both went through trials and tribulations. Sometimes our brain tends to block bad memories as a protective shield so we can keep living. You talk exactly like Shay. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, I wish I could remember. You know, I do remember one thing. Really? What was it? 
You. The fire was still burning. I was laying down outside, regaining consciousness. You were there, watching over me. It's been a long time. Look, I'm aware we don't get to spend a lot of time together. I know. Don't worry about it. You're doing what you can. I wish things were different. But... I need you to know... I will always stand by you. Tomorrow, I'll meet your director. I'll fix everything. You damn well better! You mean, validating my rating? Yeah, I will. Do you... still trust me? I do. Uh-oh. Hello? Bro, what are you doing? The fight starts in a few minutes. Oops! If you don't come with me, I swear I'm gonna- Hang on! I'm on my way! Uh, Who was that? I, uh... Um... I'll explain later. Uh, some things never change. Exactly. Just when it was gonna be like a nice view, and then talking about something important, and then this happens. I'm, uh, I'm here. Ready. Chill, bro. The fight starts in ten minutes. Huh? But you said. I used my bending time capacity. Bending time? You were late, so I jumped back an hour to get you earlier. But that's impossible. Is it? We can imagine it, right? Doesn't that simple fact make it possible? Now you're confusing me. Okay, okay. You're right, I didn't. After all this time, don't you think I've learned a thing or two about you? The only way to get you here on time is to never give you the right timing. Ugh, I fell for it again. Yeah, you sure did. Good thing you always seem to forget. Still, bending time. Wouldn't it be convenient? Don't ask me, I only have a f clue. There are many interesting theories. Uh-oh, here comes Miss Science again. Well, you've got ten minutes to kill now, don't you? Been a long day. I could really use a rest. Oh, you're not tired. No, 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 no. Oh, very well. If you prefer spending this time doing nothing over enlightening your spirit, that's your choice. Tough decision. I'm just eating some shapes, cheese and bacon. What are the original flavors? Listen to Fury or take a rest? No, you know what? Let's let's listen to the Fury. Actually, you made me curious. Enlighten me. Good. First of all, let me ask you this simple question: What is time? Well, uh, it's some kind of measurement, like. I weigh 220 pounds, and you weigh, uh, how much do you weigh? Oh, no. You're as clueless about women as you are of science, aren't you? Anyway, I see what you mean. Time is a constant, right? For instance, fixing this tablet takes me one minute. Meanwhile, you're up on the trash mountain looking down on my garage. When I'm done fixing it, how much time has passed for you? Well, one minute? Wrong! What? Time is relative. It can vary for different observers. In my example, it will almost be one minute spent for you. Almost, but not exactly. There will be a very slight difference. Maybe just less than a nanosecond. Interesting. How f***ing interesting is that? It's especially true when you're hired that's not subject to the same gravity, like you on the mountain. Think about 
satellites. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellites' increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make their clock gain about 50 microseconds a day. So, basically, you're saying that I could get older faster than you? Exactly. Maybe less than a second faster in an entire lifespan, but the difference exists. It's called time dilation. Does it matter? Yes, because it means one important thing. Time cannot be dissociated from space. You know how every object has three coordinates, height, width, and depth? These are dimensions. Well, time is the same. It's called the fourth dimension. It's hard for us to imagine. Time is an illusion of our mind. Yeah, you reckon it could be the illusion of bull If we can move an object into space, why couldn't we move it into time as well? But how do we do that? Not the slightest idea. By moving into space. Close to the speed of light. The speed of light? Well, the speed of fight! Ding ding! It's fight night. Hey, have you been to school? Everyone knows that. Now that you mention it, Grandpa and I, we often watch the stars at night. He told me that we observe them as they were millions of years ago. Yes, that's because light is an instant. A star's light takes a lot of time to reach us. Right now, how you're seeing me is only the reflection from my older self. Oh, so you're actually younger? That varies according to your perspective. There's a delay. It's so tiny our brains can't notice. But that doesn't make anyone travel in time. It's just looking. Right. We're standing still. What happens if we move? Say you have a twin. I do? Of course not, silly. One bro is already too much for this world. Hey. But let's assume you've got one. While you're staying on Earth, your twin is traveling inside a spaceship at a very high speed. Years pass. One day he comes back. And to your surprise, he's much younger than you. Hey. That's not fair. But true. The twin has aged much slower than you. Time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to another reference. So, in a way, we can say that the twin traveled to the future. That's fine, but I wouldn't want to go forward in time. It'd be awful. All the people I know would be old or dead. Can we go back instead? Is that possible? Notice what I said. To go into the future, we'd need to reach a speed close to the speed of light. Now, what would happen if we could exactly reach the speed of light? Well, I guess we would disintegrate. Our body couldn't take it. Neither would our mind. We'd go crazy. Possibly. But you're making a common thinking mistake. You wouldn't need to move straight forward to gain speed. A vessel could be moving back and forth, increasing progressively and ever so slightly, that the movement itself wouldn't be perceived by the mind and body. You mean, like our reflection previously? Yep. Space in the vessel would shrink, including all objects inside. And suddenly, BAM! You reach the speed of light and enter a wormhole. From there, you get access to the whole world's history. You can land anywhere you want. Or should I say, any time? Exciting, uh-huh. Can you just picture it? <laughs> right now, the only thing in my mind is a headache. That was a long ass conversation. Uh-oh. We may need to go back in time, all right. Why are you saying that? Because it's time. Quick, in the cabin. The hell? Oh, hang on. Oh, crap. And it's raining. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nice. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Oh, is that a badger? I don't think it is a badger. I like how, how dress, I um, like how um, they design it.
Oh, crap. Nothing music to... Oh, bitch. Ow, you son of a bitch. Who's that? Who are you? Um, your opponent? No, it was supposed to be. What? Never mind. Let's rock, Croc. I love that saying. It's a tough one. Alright, if we continue to fight- oh, Alright, I'm looking this up now. You can continue to fight or if you, if you continue to fight, your opponent will move quickly using fast combinations to prevent you from getting hit in. Oh, this is a tough one. Well, I've had to start over getting from KO. Oh, no, I don't think I should fight her. So the match was cancelled. Oh, so we lose 200 units. Nothing's left for me. Okay. Well, looks like I lost. Of course you did. What were you thinking? This is a virtual space. Maybe that wasn't even a woman. Is it possible? Well, technically anything's possible. But for a while now, there have been security measures to ensure fighters don't conceal their identity, even for a lawless area. It caused too many problems. So, the answer is no. Don't change the subject, sister. You lost some precious money there. I'd rather lose some bucks than my ethics. Let's forget this. I'll never forgive you for this. Oh, I'm sure you will. You need the money I can get from the next fights, yeah? Yes, one more. Huh? Just one? Who knows? Well, bye. Hey, you're making it sound like it's an everyday job. Isn't it? I'm risking my life for some credits. Nah, you can't die. What? Why are you always so confident I'll never get killed? Or worse, like this morning when you sent me to hack a border post full of deadly bots and lasers. Or when you set up that giant saw that I barely escaped from. I was lucky to make it out alive. What a silly question. <laughs> That's because I know the... Mm, I mean... I know you. <laughs> I believe in you. Hmm, okay. Thanks, Shay. You're a great friend. No problem, bro. So she was pretty pissed off at him. But she's sad now. This place is dark. Let's move on. Okay, something's gonna happen. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait, so this is the end of chapter 2, okay. Because I just got an achievement. Hmm. Hey, don't, don't look at me, Brock. Um, no, just no. See, um, what should we do? I think we should end the bl episode, not the stream, obviously. A window? A porthole? Uh, in any case, it's shut. Mines? Oh boy, I hate those. Better watch my step. Are you serious? Hmm. 
look suspicious. Let's see. Well, I thought there was light coming out, but I can't see much of anything. Hey, wait. I can hear. Is someone there? Wait, are they taking Gruff away? thought huh. the voices they've stopped okay something's what the hell is going on I have an awkward feeling maybe I shouldn't look <gasps> the hell wait is someone what dead the heck is this <sighs> wait there's nothing here. I must be imagining things. This could be a new horror game. This is unlike the others. Why is that window position so low? I, uh, I need to take a look. Wait, who's that? Is that... Gref? Gref? Don't cry. I'll get you out of here. I'm here, Gref. What are you doing in this cell? Don't worry. I'll help. Is there any way to open from your side? Hey, can't you hear me? Who's there? It's me. It's Brock. I'm I'm here for you. No. What? No. Do not. Get away from me. But Graf. Stop screaming! I'm not gonna Wait, is hurt someone you. threatening him with a knife? Huh? Oh gosh. I hear footsteps. What should I do now? Okay, now the triangle's full. I'm down. It's him! They're coming for me. Sons of bitches. What? They want another round. All right. Bring it on. Bring it on, assholes. Oh, crap. That was good. Not coming back for more, eh? Quitters. Uh, now what's going on? Now what do we do? Huh? Oh! <gasps> Graf? Oh no! Don't move! You're surrounded by mines! You did this? Did... what? Don't... What should I do? Please... Go away! Wait, why is there more mines being placed? Monster. It's over. The monsters are gone. No! You... you killed them all! N no I didn't! Liar! Just look! Huh? 
huh? No, I. They were. Wait, aren't they illusions, though? I. I really did. Please forgive me, everyone. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, where do you go now? Where are you? Raph, come here. You're safe now. Don't be scared. I never, never hurt. Oh, it hurts. I need to get out now. No! Another dream. Uh, Raph isn't around. I better get up fast. I can't see from here, but I bet the sun has been up for ages. Well, I guess we'll make this a to be continued. <laughs>